Hello, Tishy. Hi, Sabina. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. We have so many newcomers as well that are going to be gathering. Elizabeth is here with us and thank you so much. Yes, so special the first of the month is when we have, ah, thank you Elizabeth, blessings to you. When we get to meet some new kindreds, reunite, <laughs> find one another so magically, it's uh, all a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Joni. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I just left Hello. a meeting with Bert and Robbie and all kinds of wonderful people this morning. Beautiful. Hello, Michael. Hi. Hello, Karen. Hi. Hi. How's it going, Savina? Really good. It's good to hear. And Tanya, mm -hmm. welcome, beloved. Mia is here. Oh, Tracy is here. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Risha. Hi, beloveds. Oh, everybody looks so beautiful. <laughs> ah. Sarah is here. Yes, hi there. This is my hi. first time joining hi. your group. I just um, learned about it. I'm so honored and humbled. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. being so courageous, trying something new. Yeah, lovely to discover. Um, this yeah, and so. Somehow we do. Somehow we <laughs> discover one another. <laughs> Grace. So let's breathe together. This grace that brought us all here. The mystery of here and now. The grace of the mystery of bringing your whole being here. Be fully present to be a holy witness. I'm going to put it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I was going to say, I'm going to put us all on mute just for sound quality, because it is harder to hear if we're not muted. But later on, um, we will unmute and share if we feel to. There'll be plenty. And if you need to say something in the middle, um, you know, if it's important, feel free, because we're all family. So this muting is not to silence you, but to preserve the technological sound quality. So this gathering today is the first of the month where we set a tone for weekly explorations. And, you know, we've been gathering for over two years, every Sunday, chemical intention of uh, transforming consciousness within our own inner ecosystem to bring healing to the whole ecosystem. So from the inside out. So it's really the most, it's a convergence of the deepest microcosmic diving where we meet the macrocosmic cosmos within. And so the weeks do really build upon themselves, as does any kind of recipe where you're adding and you're distilling over time. But also, 
in one moment of grace. There's instantaneous healing. And that takes a container of high integrity. And that's what nature is providing for us. And we are nature. So we converge now in this unique way where we call in all of nature beings and you can feel free to do this muted or unmuted. We're going to call in all nature beings and although it, because of language, appears that they are separate or we're differentiating them by words, the deeper we, we meet ourselves right here as we're invoking these beings of nature, the deeper is our embodied realization that they are nearer than near and not separate at all. So the ritual of calling in these beings strengthens this one body. So let's call in those nature beings that bring their entraining presence to support this awakening. I call in the herd here. We're just finishing their second breakfast. The herd of light who you can see, they'll be joining us. Travis, Taz, Teddy, Yoshi, Khalil, and the unseen Omar. And we extend this herd of light out to your most intimate animal beloveds. It's one herd of light whether they are in the disguise of horses, or dogs, or cats, or birds, or fish, or lizards, or insects, or squirrels, those animal beings who share day-to-day -day intimate life with you, whether they're in form or formless realms, because so many of our intimate companions move on from their form, but are still fully here in spirit. So just feel them all as a cloud of witnesses actively holding space. And we call in all the animal beings on this beautiful planet. Whether they're in your native homeland country or exotic beings of the Arctic Circle, the safari plains, the elephants, giraffes, hippos, rhinos, orangutan, Tigers, lions, snakes. The oceanic beings of mystery. The whales, the dolphins. The fish, the plant life, oceanic coral reefs. Of course, we call in the plants on the land here and the land herself, the soil, the roots, the trees, the elements, the 
heavenly bodies, the moon, all the moons in the galaxies. The black holes, the supernovas, space itself and all its grandeur and vastness. We call in the flowers, we call in the winged ones, birds of prey, hummingbirds, songbirds. all the beings of light in their formless realms who are here to amplify this alchemy. Call in the rocks, crystals. All nearer than near. Breathing here as one breath. Just feel the infinite circle that we are humbly a part of. And then feeling the beauty of your, your deepest intention of what brought you here. In your heart, that intention like a delicate, fragrant flower that you place and offer into the center of this, the sacred circle. A circle which is limitless, whose center is everywhere. And see this bouquet of all of our notes, our floral notes of intention, creating this incredible, fragrant frequency as we ripple this forth out into the whole. So feeling yourself here and welcoming yourself fully. Extending that welcome out to others that you see in the sacred space, knowing that there is no such thing as other. That what you overflow with is circulating as one flow. So today we will be opening to entrain to a frequency of nature which could be pointed to using the word freedom so this word freedom is a frequency holder that these transmissions will point and activate within ourselves. And so we listen as we would at the base of a tree, listening perhaps through the soles of our feet and taking in through pathways, perhaps as if we're catching frequencies with our antennas. Or 
or that the very follicles of hair on our skin are listening. We're listening in a new, old, ancient way. So from the heart of nature consciousness, this transmission says, to reconnect with your natural state of being, which is a state of total freedom. Allow us, all the beings of nature here, allow us here and now to entrain you back to your true nature, which is pure, unconditioned consciousness. Your natural, unconditioned nature is love. It is a mind that does not differentiate itself from the heart. Meet all from the ocean of this unconditioned nature. This is the ultimate gift of compassion. Completely free from polluted streams of manufactured beliefs. Completely free from differentiation and otherness. Completely free from the illusion of separateness. The crystalline water-like flow of your true nature can then bless all it lays eyes upon. Bathing in an unspoken, unconditional love by one simple, focused glance of open, unconditioned attention, attuned to your true nature, all becomes empowered to be unlimited, sacred freedom. Grant your whole being the power of compassionate permission to fly free from the cages of self-inflicted imprisonments. This frees all, for all is one here in this field of true unconditioned beingness. So just notice how this transmission is dancing and flowing through your embodied energy body. Just take a breath in, allowing a receiving of nourishment and a breath out of releasing anything that you need to release to make room, more space for grace, the grace of being reunited with this freedom. And I'll read it again to reconnect with your natural state of being, which is a state of total freedom. Allow us, all the beings of nature here and now, allow us to entrain you back to your true nature. 
so Yoshi is splashing behind me in the water trough, playing in the water that she's drinking from. I don't know if we can see her, but the energy of this unconditioned joy Just feel what arises in you as you entrain to the dominant frequency that is here and now. Allow us all the beams of nature to entrain you back to your true nature which is pure unconditioned consciousness and your natural unconditioned nature is love it's a mind that does not differentiate itself from the heart meet all from this ocean of the unconditioned nature of your true self this is the ultimate gift of compassion completely free from polluted streams of manufactured beliefs, completely free from differentiation and otherness, completely free from the illusion of separateness. The crystalline water-like flow of your true nature can then bless all it lays eyes upon, bathing all in unspoken, unconditional love. By a simple, focused glance of open, unconditioned attention, attuned to your true nature, all becomes empowered to be unlimited, sacred freedom. Grant your whole being the power of compassionate permission to fly free from the cages of self-inflicted imprisonment. This frees all, for all is one here in the field of true unconditioned beingness. Viewing all from lenses of inner freedom ignites the fire of self-liberation, which is the inherent core of all. Viewing all from lenses of inner freedom ignites the fire of self-liberation, which is the inherent core of all. Inner freedom is highly contagious. And all of nature is here to contaminate you. So breathe closer and closer to us here and now so quantumly close that differentiation falls away. So in this moment, invite in an animal or nature being closer into your field, closer and closer to breathe with you. Feel how this embodied frequency of being ignite something within you.
feel the effortlessness, contagiousness of this frequency. A self-liberation within. And feel how your out-breath, simple and free, shares this contagion. And how the breath itself then becomes an offering of unconditional love and blessing. Another transmission from our beloved nature beings. We love you. We love you. We love your creativity and we love you unconditionally. And in truth, we are you. A gift of love that we give to you is our inner freedom. We simply haven't put any energy into pathways of perceiving through lenses of projection of labels, opinions, or identity. We perceive through living lenses of the vast emptiness of moment to moment being. As open emptiness being, we perceive directly. We feel you within by direct frequency transmission. We feel how your own conditioning rises and releases in the presence of our embodied empty clarity, awakening your inherent state of empty clarity, for you are the same pristine luminous emptiness. here and now directly experience the freedom of this space, a vast luminous emptiness that you are. Vessels of true nature are we all, united as one heart of freedom. We love your creativity. We love you unconditionally. In truth, we are you. And the gift of love we give you is our inner freedom. We simply haven't put any energy into pathways of perceiving through lenses of projections, labels, opinions, or identity. We perceive through living lenses of the vast emptiness of moment to moment being. As open emptiness being, we perceive directly. We feel you within by direct frequency transmission. We feel how your own conditioning rises and releases in the presence of our embodied empty clarity. Awakening your inherent state 
of empty clarity. For you are the same pristine luminous emptiness. Here and now, directly experience the freedom of the space of vast luminous emptiness that you are. Vessels of true nature are we all united as one heart of freedom. So feeling the frequency pouring through you as you Allowing selves, deep, subtle body centers to dance and awaken. Gently, breath by breath. And this message from the herd here, through the single pointed crystal clear eye of neutrality, we perceive. Through the single pointed crystal clear eye of neutrality, we perceive. As one heart with you, we feel. The spacious neutrality is the portal that all moves through. This eye of neutrality is a portal returning you to your inner homeland of freedom. A neutrality vaster than the cosmos. As still as the calmest sea. Relax into the depths of neutrality, your homeland of unconditional love. Through the single pointed, crystal clear eye of neutrality we perceive as one heart with you. We feel the spacious neutrality is the portal that all moves through. This eye of neutrality is a portal returning you to your inner homeland of freedom. A neutrality vaster than the cosmos, as still as the calmest sea. Relax into the depths of neutrality, your homeland of unconditional love. So just diving deeper within now. Discovering this homeland is alive and well. Right here within you. Amplified right here by this quantum field of one. This neutrality as a portal and alive, unconditional love portal.
And another transmission for us today, a really important one from the animals. Did you know that you can have outer shackles around your arms and legs, but if you have no inner shackles, your direct experience is still one of complete liberty? Did you know that you can have outer shackles around your arms and legs, but if you have no inner shackles, your direct experience is still one of complete liberty. There are many humans who have experienced, experienced this. They understand. But most humans experience the limitations of their physicality, whether it be the body or mind or life circumstances. They experience the limitations as a dominant reality. And so the state of liberty of their subtle most essence is overridden. <clears throat> There's Yoshi releasing for us all. Thank you. Most humans experience the limitations of their physicality, whether it is their body or mind or life circumstances, they experience this as a dominant reality. And so the, the state of liberty of their subtle most essence is overridden. If you're overriding the truth of your free soul, then you will project shackles onto all you see. you are overriding the truth of your free soul, then you will project shackles onto all you see. If you are a slave to your habitual conditioned ways of operating, if you are a slave to your conditioned ways of operating, then you will enslave others, for there are no others. If you begin to soften to yourself the sweetness of songs of freedom will ring out louder and louder until as one holy chorus freedom will be the dominant refrain did you know that you can have outer shackles around your arms and legs but if you have no inner shackles your direct experience is still one of complete liberty. There are many humans who have experienced this. They understand. But most humans experience the limitations of their physicality, whether it's their body or mind or life circumstances. They experience these limitations as a dominant reality. And so the state of liberty, their subtle most essence is overridden. Let's just breathe that in compassionately together. This awareness igniting within us.
If you are overriding the truth of your free soul, then you will project shackles onto everything you see. If you're a slave to your habitual conditioned ways of operating, then you will enslave others for there is no other. If you begin to soften to yourself, soften more and more the sweetness of songs of freedom will ring out louder and louder until as one holy chorus, freedom will be the dominant refrain. So let's feel this shift, the paradigm of the limitless nature of essence, of soul essence within all beings. Becoming the dominant vibration. And hearing what that song sounds like, feels like, how powerful it is. And it's turning the tides. Anchor yourself to reality here and now. Just right here and right now and realize freedom is here. Right now. Just anchor yourself to reality right here. Just breath. Right now. This exhalation and realize freedom is right here, right now. So simple, but a retraining. And we are so blessed right here and right now to have this palpable entrainment where the song of nature is being sung in an amplified space sung through each of us and resonating as one song of awakening so blessed So a gentle breath, allowing these transmissions to be assimilated, absorbed, their own, their own pace, their own rhythm. And one more transmission from the heart of nature, consciousness. Pathways of knowing without knowing how you know. Freedom. Pathways of hearing without knowing how you hear. Of seeing without knowing how you see. Pathways of gnosis are born out of the heart of humility. True humility is the doorway to freedom.
pathways of knowing without knowing how you know is freedom. Of hearing without knowing how you hear. Of seeing without knowing how you see. Pathways of gnosis are born out of the heart of humility. And true humility is the doorway to freedom. Let's bathe for a moment in silence. The reverent gratitude to all of nature, which includes our self. For this alchemical co-creation within. surrounded by one another here, by Yoshi who's standing behind me, Taz who's holding space, Travis who's standing in the shade, deeply rooted to essence. To Leo, and Teddy, and all the beings who intimately are breathing with us. Humble gratitude to all. Let's begin a gentle shift in our dance here in the group space. And just look within if there's anything you would like to offer, anything you would like to say. Your silence is heard too, of course. But this is a time where you can feel free. Just have the freedom to unmute yourself and allow your voice to, to amplify the transmissions that you co-created. In this really, really beautiful space of silence and preciousness, that last transmission of um, humility being the gateway to freedom. I just asked about that and what I got it's just one word and it was surrender. Mm. Mm. And so I so appreciate us all being together now because that <laughs> is amplifying that allowance for me to surrender more. Mm. Mm. That's profound and beautiful. Surrender can't happen without that true humility. And I think you might have had that realization and it rippled through the space and Yoshi licked and chewed and processed. It was like a light bulb thing. Yeah, thank you, Risha, for being here, for voicing that fresh realization. Sabina. Everyone, hi. Hi. I have to, today I, I've been feeling emotion. And so instead of laying still, I let my body move with Great. your words. Great. And with our, and right before you said the part of shackle, I laid with my arms crossed and my legs crossed. Oh, wow. Without even knowing, and, and they were exactly like this. And then when I thought about it, I naturally moved into a fetal position that was open. Oh, wow. it, was just, it was just going with the flow, but your words were saying it. I was 
feeling it right before your words were saying it. It was so awesome. It was just a flow. Oh, wow. I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I can feel it. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly, it's like, well, did the message come first or did my experience come first or it's all one flow. That's exactly it. Wow, that's so powerful. Just thank you for that because I was just, go and I, that's when I felt the freedom. Thank you for the humility of allowing your body to just do what it needed to do. And right when I came out of it, I saw, I think it was Ellie pushing you? Ah, uh, yeah, Khalil probably, yes. Khalil, Khalil was pushing you in the back, like, you know, release your shackles. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Yeah, that really amplifies the one body flow. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm just looking around at you all. Oh, my goodness. What a blessing to be here with you all. I'll add another story if anyone else isn't speaking. Um, I did a meditation with a, a monk friend yesterday for my birthday. And I wrote a little story about it after because he told us to take and pick up a rock somewhere and connect with that rock, even if you write words on it like a prayer. And, you know, it, when, you're lo when you're in the middle of stress or something, go back to that meditation or that feeling that you had that brought you as one. And maybe the rock in your pocket will remind you during these times when it's hard to walk away from that stress. And so I promised him when I went for my walk that day that I would bring a shell because I'm such an ocean person. And I got halfway down the street in the middle of Los Angeles on a cement street and I'd forgotten my shell and I thought, well, I'll just find a beautiful stone. And I looked down and there was a shell. Oh, wow. And I re I've been realizing our connection in so many ways this week. Uh, with oh the animals God. and a shell in the middle of nowhere. I brought it home with me, took exactly. a picture for him. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, transcending these ideas, these limit limiting ideas. Oh, I'm in the middle of LA and I'll find only a rock. <laughs> of course, we love our rocks, but for you, no, there's a shell. For us all, no, there's grace everywhere. Thank you. Miracles, really and truly. So freedom, right in the middle of LA. Freedom to find a shell. And what a beautiful gift you gave yourself to have a meditation with an embodied monk, you know. What a beautiful yeah. choice. I'm blessed to have him and you helping me bring out some of my inner turmoil. That Oh, yeah. We're blessed have, to have you. We're blessed. I, have, I have a lot of love, but I, I get surrounded by turmoil. And we then, all so you help me center it. And, you know, I, I even made myself feel guilty not remembering to bring the shell on the walk that I promised him I'd bring. Uh, and I was at that moment going to go back and get a shell because I was like, don't let down me shell for this. And there it was. So, yes. So softness, softening towards ourselves. Letting these inner shackles kind of melt. Right before our very eyes, right before these beings' very eyes. This is Taz. Taz was when she came to us two years old and she was pretty freaked out by being in a horse body and we were pretty freaked out by her 
horse body because she was very emotional and uncoordinated and very big in her expression of her emotions. And she's transparent and she has embodied this higher self now in a horse's body. Her essence is so powerful as you can feel. So it's a journey for us all. Would anyone else like to share? And again, your silence is palpably heard. Sue, I read your message in the chat and just amplifying, you know, the, the presence of the horses. Thank you for acknowledging that. Every morning, uh, I walk for a while around the river. There's a river running through my city mm. and uh, lots of bridges. So I walk from one bridge to three more down and then cross over and come back around. Anyway, um, it's early. No, hardly anyone's up. And... Um, I was thinking about how our naming of all these objects that we see I, increases our sense of the separateness of everything. Yeah. And uh, there was a lot happening in my field of vision. I could see a train over here, and of course the freeways over here, and trucks and cars, and. Uh, there were, anyway, there was a lot of movement in, in the field, and uh, I, I wanted to move me, well, I had this idea about how the, what we are seeing is like a movie, and um, you have all these imaginary uh, separate objects that are in that movie that we're projecting onto um, this um, pure awareness, like a, like a movie screen, we, in, in, in the pure awareness is never, it's always unchanging, always the same. And mm -hmm. so as I saw all this movement, you know, I, I just sort of like, that's what I saw. I saw mm -hmm. the energy of it all without the separate objects. And mm -hmm. I was looking at, I realized I was looking at the flow of um, pure awareness. And uh, that was the, the energy uh, behind uh, the movie that I was watching. It was, it was like a manifestation on this level of concrete awareness, you know, this where we, um, tend to get hung up on uh, the idea that we're separate because everything seems to be discrete and has names. Everything has a separate name and it gets us into this idea of separation where as there's a general awareness of field that's pure on, uh, it's, well, you could say you're talking about humility. It's like it's pure, it's, it's humility, it's humble, you know, it's just not trying to be anything special. It's, yeah. just, it's just there, and it's just the source of our all life. It's wow. <laughs> it was a wonderful experience walking along with that, that morning. Oh, what a gift, what a gift. Yeah. Your experience was not only to you, but to the whole collective mind. That was my purpose, my intention, yeah. 
yeah. to, to ground so, it in them in the in the collective mind. Yeah. Oh, how powerful! Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and that touches right upon. What we're freedom. doing here. Freedom. Yeah. It's what we're doing here. It's exactly, and it's so e it's so much easier to do in the presence of um, nature. Yeah. And then we remember, wait a second, wait a second, I am nature. Yeah. I am in the presence of nature. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, no even, those, uh, even those machines and everything are part of nature. Yes. You know, they're a manifestation of the same. Yeah. 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 Um, maybe twice removed. They're so symbolic. Yes. Yes. It's still that light of consciousness. Yeah. Manifesting. Yeah. Somebody's driving those machines. <laughs> Everybody is us. <laughs> Your Thank sound you. wasn't coming through. She said, somebody is driving those machines after all. <laughs> yes, one, one flow of light dancing without labels and directly perceiving that flow. There's a great freedom in that and the mind and the heart lose their separateness in that way of directly perceiving yeah that's right yeah <laughs> you you lose your separateness which uh that would be like being humble yeah. yeah there is a humility you know like you said losing your individual specialness but then amplifying specialness everything is special Capital S, huh? Yeah. So beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just amazed at, you know, the appearance of human forms all around here and as soon as i entered into the space with you all i could feel the inner standing the understanding from the inside it it's it's incredible that we are at a time right now where we disguised as humans even want to take a glimpse at this, let alone take a glimpse of it, but actually have an inner standing. You know, I'm always a little bit concerned that, oh my gosh, are we going to get into, you know, debates and, you know, because this isn't, this is a very, um, it's, it's a frequency based rearrangement and look at us all reconfiguring into this luminous clarity the sentience that's so open such an unconditional love here it's very mind-blowing in the best of ways Yes, light dancing. <laughs> That's right. So I am so grateful and I feel this flow of gratitude as one flow of freedom. This is Travis behind me. <laughs> so 
So let's take a breath together then. Breathing out, releasing, allowing any conditioning that wants to stick around to just be softened into and seen and released if it's ready to. Maybe it's just ready to be seen. Maybe it's just ready to, to think about being seen, to, to even begin that process. And let's feel how contagious what we have awakened and, and created here together, how contagious it, this is. Let's breathe this fully in, saturating every part of our being, overflowing out is an offering to the whole. hands over heart, I humbly bow to all of you, to all of nature beings, including you, as one heart bowing to herself. And we'll sit in silence for a while now with these beings and commune, thanking them. And until we meet again, so much unconditional love. Thank you, Elizabeth.
You feel free to, if you need to leave, it's not disrespectful at all. Feel free to flow, because we could be here for a while. I'm gonna go. I thank everyone. Thank you, Sabina. You. I'm gonna go for a walk looking for shells. Yeah. We'll be with you. <laughs> yes, you will. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Travis. Khalil was patiently waiting, which is not like him. So much love to you all. Thank you. Such a beautiful way to spend Sunday. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Wouldn't be the same without you. See you soon. <laughs>